My name is Mark George Njoroge, and this is MGN Media. Uh, this is where you learn everything, anything you want to know about the rainy state, evergreen state of Washington. Washington state, which is in the Northwest Pacific. We border Canada and the Vancouver side. So Leo, um, I mean, um, I have an interesting uh, thing. Let us share. Okay? I've been going through comments and uh, and even somebody called me and can you listen? Naskianga kila mtu akifika America na kuanga daktari. How true is it? <laughs> somehow, somehow, most of us land in the medical field. Not all of us, but a good number. So, what are some daktari? What do they mean? What do they? What do they have in their minds? So that's why nika nika sama. Watch and leo ni kujeni clear the air, and we discuss and we talk about it. Okay. So basically, kuna kitu inaitwa caregiver. Caregiver um, uh, before I go to caregiver in the US system in America um, like tumeko tukisema social life and uh, social gatherings and family virtues it's uh, difficult to uphold here. Uh, it's not like our uh, our countries and our communities back home where we have uh, our families living together. Uh, our grandparents and our grand great grandparents who live in Ushago and there is somebody around to take care of them. Here in the US is different. Nitofautisana. The system here and the setup here is different. Reason being people are super busy with their lives. Hakuna uh, ile respect of the elderly, let me say so. Uh, so people here tend to to just do life for themselves, work, retire stay in an apartment. The system here is different, different from back home. So, msea kizeka, ndi a place called Adult Family Home. They are very nice family homes. So, umezeka, you don't have, like I said, set up here, but kuna watoi wako, watoi pia wako, lakini, pia wako busy. They are busy with their own lives. They are catching up life when you nendelea uko. So everybody is kind of busy trying to make it in life, have bills here and there, because bills are so many here. Bills are gari, rent, insurance, like especially insurance. We pay a lot of money for insurance. You pay insurance even for, for your TV. Uh, you pay insurance for your house, renter's insurance or uh, owner's insurance if you own a house. So bills are so many in a way that una, una time at a kwandi kam say, um, for, for parents, hauna time ya, 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 ya kuenda kumcheki. So, the only thing you can do is to take him or her to an adult family home. So, basically, the adult family home uh, ni nyumba very clean, ni nyumba safi, poor sana, well maintained, well kept. Huko ndi wase, wanandanga ku, ku, kutulia, so, wanaka hapo, they pay for their rent, it's a house with like five or six bedrooms. Unapata probably himself kwa na, na wife yake, they are retired, there's no one to take care of them, their grandsons, their grandchildren, they are not around, they are busy probably wako in other state, they are collabed up at Washington. So the only thing aneza fanya, cause pia huku wase wana develop so many diseases, kuna so many diseases including dementia. I think dementia in a little probably, ni memory loss, uh, I don't want to go into details, but most people believe it's because of a lot of consumption, consumption of sugar. Uh, that's why a lot of dementia, but it's arguably, you know, it's an arguable uh, debate. That's for another day. So, what's up on dementia, what's on memory loss, what's on diabetes, what's on all those uh, illnesses? When uh, any elderly too, it's age. They don't have any problem. I wanna see they are they are physically fit. They are you know ni age to be now some boss. That's why they need somebody to, to, to help them. They need to ADL activities of daily living. You only copy the shower, brush meno, gloom, kunyoa, any akai to visuri, ni a person when you assistant, I need to support living. Idea, uh, basically to live uh, a normal life just like you and me. So, wanna take you, wanna pele kangwa those places in your adult family home. So, wa kienda adult family home, wanapata, wase wengine, wakona the same issue like them. 
wanakuja wanatulia na wao it's a family setup it's a family setup like i said so work you are that place they need somebody to take care of them so ndio wanahitaji caregiver caregiver basically ni mseka mimi mseka wewe mwenye unani watch amekuja akapelekwa training zinaitwa home care aid home care aid ndio hao so wanafanya eh, kwa kwa adult family homes unafundishwa so many things basics za, za na fundamentals of how to treat an elderly person si mse unakuja una juni mzae unakuja tu kwa umemchukua hey what umempeleka no 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 kuna protocol unafundishwa this is how you behave this is how you talk to them even ni kumkiu okay for instance umeenda kwa adult family home na kuna mrs right probably or mrs uh, uh, scott or we re- <coughs> excuse me or whichever so in the morning morning routine <coughs> sorry a uh, morning routine unaenda una, una knock the first thing unafundishwa privacy mbako ada ujali privacy i'm say una knock una identify yourself una mwambie mimi am your caregiver today mimi nimekuja hapa kukuonyesha kukusaidia so and then ako na right ya kuchagua uh, what they want so unafundishwa basically vitu kama hizo mseka huyo unamuuliza asubuhi unataka kuvaa hii nguo ama hii si unambalisha t-shirt ni ya christmas na ni summer time Be, vitu kama hizo unanipata uh, si tunamvalisha short na ni winter time unanipata so unafundishwa basically vitu kama hizo how to take care of an elderly person which is very important how i wish kenya tungekuanga na system kama hiyo unafundishwa uh, how to treat how to take care of your uh, our grandparents unajua unafundishwa vitu kama CPR first aid msee akipata injury amepata cardiac arrest utadil na yeye aje unanipata so system ya america basically inafundisha nga vitu kama hizo for home care aids so mkiwa pale unafuna train wa how to treat him with respect unajua uh, jua first of all analipa rent so hiyo nyumba ni kama yake basically ni kama msee yako kwake huwezi kuja na uninja yako umeno kutumlango na umemuinua haraka haraka hey, twende 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 no 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 so unafundishwa protocol ah, pia kama ni mse wa kupiga shawa una una unaambiwa how to kumuosha kuna place zingine unaambiwa unamuosha nga hivi unajua they are ni wase very delicate ni kama mayai so hizo ndio vitu watu wanafundisha ngo but into details uh, so unafundisha ngo vitu kama mse wa kuna diabetes unafundishwa how when you tam dunga shindano za 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 diabetes inaitwa insulin so even ndio unasikia anga watu wamekuwa madaktari nini nini but basically hiyo ni ule mse anafanya uh, kwa adult family home so kuna wengine wanaitwa nurse assistant um, nurse assistant huyo ni mse menda another level of education au wanafanya anga job kwa supported living assisted living uh, rehab um, uh, facilities zenye ziko na wase wengi so basically ni important to understand adult family home ina only six people but in other states like Oregon kuna zingine zinakubali 8 na kuna zingine pia zinakubali 12 lakini in uh, Washington state right now uh, not unless uh, laws zimeamendiwa but by the last time i checked ilikuwa ni 8 people so that's the adult family home and it's a good good business which has good returns so but leo tuongelee mambo ya business tunaongelea caregivers na, na stories zenyewe sana nasema anga watu kufika US wanakuanga madaktari ama wanaoshanga tushosho basically si tushosho peke yake hata maguka wako ni, ni they are humans they need help they need um, uh, kusaidiwa so kikam kwa kwa facility kama hizo zenye sasa nimesema kuna CNS we have CNS around that's another level of education so CNA basically uh wewe uko chini ya registered nurse ama licensed practitioners nurse LPN wengine wanaita LVN watuku kwetu wanaitwa LPN so kwa uh, facility unapata kuna wings kuna moja unaweza pata kuna 18 to 21 people excuse me the next one pick on the same number 18 to 21 
So mna kwa kama mkoa wili ama watatu kwa flow and then kuna mwingine anaitwa Medtech. So uh, CNA yeye yeah, ukienda okay, um, training ya CNA so unafundishwa vitu kama vitals. Vitals ni kuchukua blood pressure, uh, uh, glucose una unapima uh, diabetes. Unafundishwa those vital signs eh? uh, na how to to, to record hizo uh, uh, details zote to log in um, una, unaangalia msia na behavior alikula those all those things are that another level of uh, education from huyo ni ako na upper class um, than uh, home care aid home care aid yes some of them wana wana, wana check uh, blood pressure wana wana check um, diabetes wanaangalia diabetes msia sugar yake iko at which level before um, uh, uh, administer uh, uh, insulin but most importantly kuna class in it um, uh, nurse delegation most of them most of the CA, uh, HCAs before akwe uh, anaweza dungana shindano ya ya ya, ya insulin uh, utapata ame, ame, ameenda that class in it um, a nurse delegation but main focus ni diabetes a uh, special focus in it a special focus on diabetes a uh, nurse uh, in it um, special focus on diabetes na na hiyo sasa ya nini um, nurse delegation so okay come to cns uh, pia wako na the same level uh, like home care aid but now theirs is different wanafanya vital signs um, wanafanya all those vital signs zenye unajua blood pressure blood sugar you know and uh, nani routine na waseni wengi so hii unatumia even uh, bigger machines like hoya unapata msee ako na you know um, amekula vizuri so you need an extra extra machine for lifting you need to hoya lift uh, unafundishwa um, even how to talk to them kum feed when when you when ni mtu wa 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 kumfanyia daily activities adl activities of daily living when you support staff so yeah basically even the watu nasemanga wasome fika america na wamekwa madaktari hiyo uh, ni lower level it's not lower because it pays bills it's a good uh, opportunity it's a good uh, process to start which kila mtu most of us most of us i included upon of lianzia you start there on kia a you, you progress unakuwa uh, nurse assistant uh, unakuwa medtech like me um, medtech unaenda tu it's a progressive uh, metric unaenda progressively na una, una jifundisha all those things so yeah wase wanakujanga wanakuwa madaktari but most importantly ni ku ni ku understand our say they are humans like you uh, they need care sisi tunaamka tu mara moja tu umemchukua mbio mbio teke teke ni umeenda kumpeleka shawa no 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 no, no. kuna proto muamushe pole pole mwambie yo it's me i'm your caregiver hey mrs so and so hey mr so and so i'm your caregiver today na kama anakukumbuka juu wengine si wote wako na wako na shida ya memory see it's not everybody who has a memory loss wengine wanakukumbuka hata utaingia kwa room akwambia hey how you doing good morning you're here yeah akupatie story oh last night when you left me blah 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 this stuff did this and this you know hata ku update na nini iliendelea so ase kama hao uh, they are good so you just you just be friends with them take care of them na maisha na songa vizuri na inakuwa poa and you get your money and you go so it's a nice uh, thing to be a caregiver but most importantly take take care of them properly usi wasukume usiharakishe deal now gently sindio yeah 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 hiyo ndio watu sawa na samanga mseme kuja america mikuwa daktari yes kuna and then another level ah uh, unakuwa lpn that's now a higher level unaenda shule for one year plus kwingine ni two years ama three years lakini ukienda like oregon one year ukienda tennessee tennessee one year but huko kwetu state of washington peri requisites for one and a half years uh, program i think it's another one and a half years it comes to three years or something so yeah and then ukitoka hapo unakuwa registered nurse after registered nurse that's now another different level that's another different level uh, unakuwa in a different level even your paycheck in a change inakuwa 
eh, uko na monofka uko na and then sasa ukitaka kufanya bachelor in science eh, registered nurse ni to BSN RN it's up to you and then you do your masters then yeah it it, it progresses like that so healthcare basically it's a good venture for those who are planning to do adult family home and facilities there are so many Kenyans around here that I know who have uh, been doing so well in uh, adult family homes um, here in Washington, like like in my county, county of uh, PS County, others in Dashton County, where the capital city of uh, Washington is, Dashton County, uh, King County, Snohomish, Kipsat, you know, and even far south uh, in Vancouver area, people are moving down south because opportunities are everywhere so if you're planning or uh, thinking to start a business uh, and you are yeah adult family home is a good venture it's a good business uh, which has returns because people pay a lot of money to be to be kept in an adult family home una pata msia na lipa like um, uh, 3000 or 4000 a month and there are six you make your calculations yeah it's a good return and uh, you pay your caregivers your bills and everything you will still have uh, a tangible amount uh, without you stressing up yourself so yeah there are others who pay like ten thousand unapata uh, it's a couple unapata five thousand five thousand each that's ten thousand wengine ni private unalipa up to ten thousand individually so there's it, it depends nilisema 3000 considering kuna wengine uh, their government uh, uh, clients and the government basically they do like 100 uh, 110 a day so times uh, 30 that's 3100 so basically uh, if if you calculate it with with the minimum of uh, an individual moja wa government it's around 3000 and you have like 6 or uh, yeah but most mostly mostly uh, people get like 10000 10, 10 to 6 7000 each for for an individual which is a good tangible amount so i will advocate for for an adult family home any time of the day it's a good venture it's a good business you will never go wrong with it and then yeah okay give us basically here in washington uh, plenty so you'll akuna a single day you just want a caregiver caregivers are so many people are looking for jobs everywhere um, uh, so basically in washington you, you, you'll not lack anything including clients there's so many for government and private it's up to you whichever you want to attack and then uh, when you come to a facility that's now a different game ball that's where money is real tangible money because like i said it's a facility of 20 to 25 um, um, residents and and uh, by the way before nisa okay and you like a foundation you were taught how to deal with them and treat them properly how which you are say with uh, names at your disabled and then no 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 you are treated to, to, to call them with respect with dignity because they are humans and they deserve dignity and then I don't want to leap for crying out loud these guys are paying you you are being you, you are there because of them you know uh, you're paying your bills because of them so in all honesty they deserve uh, uh, better treatment and better care from you uh, and uh, yeah so like I said you can end up for the facilities now that's where the money is because it's it's a huge one with a lot of money so um, mass plus nuase uh, wengi so pesa pia ni mingi ukipata like 20 25 uh, clients who are paying around 7000 uh, a month just to do your calculations that's tangible and tangible amount of money okay so that's uh, my evening thoughts tonight. I just thought aloud and I decided, you know what? Let me come clear the ear, the air. Uh, people want to say, "Man, what in America want to come, doctor?" Yeah, now when I was a son, hey, I want to show show. 
Matuno Shangwaje, oh, uh, how do you guys uh, do it? And uh, yeah, we are used to it. We are used to it. Um, the one, of, of course, Kama Nikitujei Fanya, if you're not used to uh, taking care of a female, the one Utashtuka, but with time, uh, you'll, you'll, with the training, of course, Utakuja to understand it better. Na, na unasonga, yeah. Because basically they are old people. Utapata, they are like kids. Unajua, you say you grow old and turning, um, and turning young. So everything in your toyan is a fanya. Do you mzaya ta fanya? Kama ni ku kujikodole ya meji pukulia, you know, all those things. Ame saha o ame vavia to opposite, you know. That's why you are there. Kum kum kiu. Kuna wengine they they have. Our juju yani ako lakini ako absent. So mseka ma uyo tamsaidia, you clean the ma kuna mtusafisho na mwa. Yani unataka tu mseka kai vizuri basically. Kutaki kupata mshosho yani ama guka meka tu hivo. Yani ukona that uh, human heart. Una mchanga mkia, una msafisho, una mgarisho, una juwa, una mweka fiti. Yeah? De ata ata wase wawa kikuja wana semenyewe. Um say it's taking good care of my parents, And then you too, you are satisfied with no? Una unangalia the elderly, cause life, life. Hata si one day you never know. You never know. I didn't say I didn't say, but yeah, but it's a naked truth anyway. That this is what and you need somebody to take care of you properly, you know? Cause e life tuna issue with all these diseases. Uh, others uh, her, uh, you you inherit. Um, zingine zinakuja tu just from anywhere others are um, lifestyle uh, diabetes uh, cancer and even dementia nowadays a huge 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 thing wase wana, wana develop dementia even in, unajua in our country we didn't know uh, dementia per se uh, when we were growing up it was not a common thing tunakuwa nasema ah moro ni akolide everything niko kura unajua memory loss unasema niko kura but it's a it's a disease. It's it's a condition. It's not a it's a condition. Uh, memory and mental uh, diseases are so many in our country. So ukifundisha vitu kaa hizo, you understand it better. Uh, and um, 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 how I wish uh, the system ya healthcare in Kenya ingekuwa in a facilitated such education. This is a simple education like health um, home home care aid assistance. Um, Unafundishwa ukiwa na your grandmother, ukiwa na your grandfather. This is how you can treat them. It will, it will help us a lot. It will take us a big step on even our perspective of how we, we, we view things. Um, it's, 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 a, it's an appeal to the government. How I wish when I fundisha vitu kai. So even uh, basic CPR and first aid. I remember when I was a first aider in high school. Uh, we were taught CPR and fasting, but that's a long time ago. Ilikuwa under St. John's ambulance, and big up to those guys. Uh, I remember it was back in the days when I was in high school. It was a good thing uh, to learn CPR and fasting. Uh, I, I wish kila mutu ngekwana that simple, simple knowledge is a CPR and fast aid. Do you know what? na cardiac arrest. How do I nitamfanyi aje, nitamfanyi CPR aje, nitadil na e aje. Before, I'm being to pelleke hosi ama ambulance kuje. Cause most people die before fike hosi. Ne tunge save their lives. Tunge save their lives. Unadua. It's a pity, maze atuna that. And it's a very simple, simple thing. Ya CPR. I think one day I'll do a video. I'm tempted to do a video and teach you guys. And I know you know, but I think. One of these fine days, I look for an instructor. We do, we just do a video of uh, CPR and fast aid. How to administer um, fast aid to somebody, uh, to a grown up, to an infant. Because it's very necessary. Mtoya neza chok. Nita 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 block throat yake aje. Mse mzima me. Unajua sisi tunajua. Mse ame chok. Una mtandi kangu mi amgongo. You know. Well. Anyway, in the early growth, it was system naive. But I wish my people. I'll, I'll look for for, for, for for a CPR instructor. I, I can I can uh, have done it. I can 
I can show you. But I think I'll, uh, one day I'll look for a first aid instructor. Uh, yeah, we, uh, we need, we need, I need to show you guys the instructor, um, how to do CPR. Basic. See, I na sema mujui, but anyway, you know, I'll, 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 I'll work on it one of these fine days, probably next week, one of these fine days. I'll look for a first aid instructor to the foundation. Sindio? Maze, that's my evening thoughts tonight. Uh, this is where I live. Uh, this is a very nice place. It's in Fife, uh, as I usually tell you guys. Uh, Fife is in Pierce County. Uh, Pierce County is in Washington State. Washington State is in the US. Okay. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm humbled every time I'm here and I'm, I'm always grateful for people who are watching my videos. For the new subscribers, thank you so very much. Um, I was almost saying thank you very many. And for the comments and the support, shukran sana. I'm humbled for your support. We are at 3,000 and something right now subscribers. I can't believe it. It's because of you guys. I'm humbled for your support. And if you're new, consider subscribing. This is where you learn everything and anything you want to know about the beautiful, beautiful evergreen state state of washington right my people as usual my name is mark george njeroge and that was my evening thought see you next time thank you so much thank you